I know where. Hello. My name is Commander CSI, commanding in the 21st century. Under high tension Pentecostal power, anointing lines to liberate mankind and devastate the kingdom of darkness. Before I go on on this video, I want you to make our time to come to our headquarters in the Caribbean. Maybe you are in Africa. Our headquarters in Africa is in a place called Port Harcourt in the eastern part of Nigeria. Then in South Africa, our headquarters in South African region is in Mafiken, but Mafiken in Manjimansu. And if you are in India, we have two branches in India, and our headquarters is in Guntu District. Having established that fact, I want you to also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And your life will not remain the same. They call me the talking spirit and I feel like I need to talk this time. But my talk this night goes on the man. And I got to take it easy to talk to men so that they will understand their duty in their relationship and in their family. Right? Okay. I, I will be as calm as possible to see with, if the man can understand me. And this is what I want the man to understand. First of all, your duty as a man is to provide. First point. That is what you are built. That is what you are created to do to provide. Provision. What is provision? English make us sometimes not to understand some certain things, but provision is like a mantle given to a man in order to run his family. Because when you provide for any person, you have authority over the person. You see, in the Western world, we have a problem in, the, in, in Africa, in some part of Africa, in the Western world, they provide for the students free education. So they provide everything for the child to make the child comfortable. So they control the child and they control the parents. But in Nigeria, it's difficult for you to control my child in Nigeria. Why? Because I provide. I decide when my child goes to school and when he will not go to school because I'm still a child. I'm providing. And that is why in that place, in Nigeria, it looks as if there is anarchy. So I can decide not to send my child to school for three days to be in the house or go to market or do one or two things. But you can't do that in the Western world. If you do it, they will say it's child abuse. But in our own, we don't call it child abuse. We just say the child is helping the parents. I hope you understand that fact. So that brings me to this point. When you provide, you have control over your subject, the person you provided for, right? So that is why people struggle to be independent. When you are independent, you, you have taken the authority from the person. You have taken the mantle from that person. Right now, our parents do everything for us. So as soon as you become stubborn for your parents, you are in trouble because everything will be cut off from you. You will have to take care of yourself because you are stubborn to your parents, right? But if you are loyal to them because they are providing for you, then you are okay. So in a man's life, I want all the men watching me in Prophetic Embassy and in Caribbean, I want you to know that your responsibility as a man is to provide. In the Bible, the Bible made us to understand that Adam had to suffer to till the ground. And that is why every man hustling to Day. Because when once you hustle and make money, it looks as if you are made, you are happy because half of your problem is solved. God created us and said, we should provide for this woman. Get that point. Get that point. That is why every man is struggling. 
to, to get things and and when once you get this you are you are like you are made but provision is what you need to use to control your family i need you to understand that fact first so i have established the fact that you have to provide what is the woman's job the woman is an assistant don't forget assistance comes in when there is something going on now that is why somebody is assisting is contributing and don't forget that assistance is a choice it is something you decided to do sometimes you assist out of empathy or love it simply means I need to contribute, I need to do one or two things. It's not a must for a woman to do that. It's a choice to assist you as a man. And that is the reason why a lot of women decide to be independent because they don't want their men to have burden. If this man is paying this bill, let me pay this bill to reduce. That is the job of a woman. So any man that is waiting for a woman to provide is not a man, it's a boy. Yes, you don't wait for a woman to provide. That is not her job. If you are lucky enough to bring a woman in your life that are ready to assist, you are blessed. But the, the the truth is that it's your job as a man to provide for your family. That is the punishment God has given to us. Different punishment for everybody. So it's more difficult for a man to make money. That is why it's, it's, it's difficult. Now, women, women is not a problem. It's not a punishment to them because they can make money anyhow. You see, they can make money with their body. They can just walk past. Somebody will give them something. It's easy for a woman to make money than a man. Why? It's a punishment from God, from our great-grandfather Adam to us. So, it's easy, right? So, the way women make money is easy than the way the men make money because it's a punishment that God gives the men. Do you understand me now? So naturally, that thing you are seeing as struggle and, and, and labor is what you're supposed to do. So as soon as you break free from financial responsibility, that is to say that God has blessed you. You have done half of the punishment. The rest of the thing is how to take care of your home and pay some of the bill. That is the point of this video. Men, please, in Caribbean, it's your responsibility to take care of your family. Am I talking to you? Stop making noise about it. Take care of your family. That is why when a woman pay one bill, the whole world will hear it because it's your responsibility. And that is why you, a man, you cannot use what you did for the woman to insult her because people will say, didn't you sleep with her? Because you have seen why it's a big deal. For you to know you are just assisting She's just assisting you. So when they pay fees, when they pay rent, when they buy a car, it becomes a big deal. So guys, I pray that you double your hustle. It's a provision that makes you a man. It's not anything in between your legs that makes you a man. It's your provision. It's the way you move around and hustle to take care and take control of your family that makes you a man right so don't go around saying i'm a man you need to obey me you need to respect me you need to do this you need to do that i'm a man no nobody is arguing it with you you are a man because of what is in between your legs but you are a real man when you provide god bless you and you know there are some people that if god give you a woman that provide for you you should appreciate that woman if God give you a woman that support your hustle, support what you are doing, you should be grateful to that woman. And also, if you have a woman that have a vision on how to make you a man to be, you know, productive, you should also be grateful to God, right? So what I'm trying to tell us tonight or today or whatever place you may be at this hour, I just feel I need to talk to you, Right? Don't forget, it's your provision that makes you a man, not the way you talk. 
not what is in between your legs, not the way you move, listen, not the way you wear your suit. It may be Italian suit, maybe Japanese suit, whatever. No, that is not what makes you a man. What makes you a man is the provision you provide for your family. Anyway, I want you to know that I love you, man, so much. I love you all the men. You own my respect. I'm talking to men that provide. If you don't provide, you are a boy. And I pray for every woman to get somebody that have something like Adam to support. So for those men that wants to get married, that want to get to a woman, look for a woman that can help your life move to the next level. I love you so much. May God bless you for listening to me. My name is Commander CSI. They call me the talking spirit. From me to you, I just want to say to you, Asante, Maranata, Onyewanyin, Shalom.